Golf Club in Jersey City. This is EA Sports coverage of PGA Tour Golf. With Frank Nabilo, 15 times a winner around the world, I'm Rich Lerner. And Frank, you're a veteran of three President's Cup teams on the international side, so you know a thing or two about match play. And that's what we have in store for us here today. Yeah, match play is, I, I always think it's a fun format, but I think one of the big mistakes people make is they think they have to play too well. You're only playing one player, not the whole field. So sometimes a par is good enough. And that will settle in the bunker, so an early test here at the first. Yeah, normally you'd rather the uh, the early test come a little later on in the round, uh, but you know he should have a better than average chance to go for the green from here. And that is just what you're envisioning when you're on the range. That's positioned nicely in the right side of the fairway. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. 129 yards left to the flag today, and that, well, it's back left today. And that ball not quite going to make it onto the green. It'll wind up a foot or so off. An early barometer of his day to come, his second to this opening par four. After the tee shot found the bunker, I was dreading this. Bunker to bunker. Well, I gotta say it, you hate to give away shots this early in the round. Well, there's bad starts, and there's this one's too. Straight out of the gate, at least a drop shot. Yes, smart play from that distance. Just use the putter to make sure you get the line, and this one goes down for a birdie. First par three of the day is a good one. It's better than 200 yards. The winds are always the issue here. You need to hit a well-struck shot. That was obviously well struck, but it came in a little too hot, and that one's going to run out and leave him a much longer birdie putt than he would have hoped for. Now from the bunker. You know, just a little splash out on this par three. Safely out of the bunker, but still a little bit of work left. I think you'd like to see that a little closer. This is a 19-foot putt. Anything close will do. This for par to win the hole.
How does that not go in? All right, so just a bogey, but that'll be good enough to at least get a top. Still possibly even win the hole. Okay, it's a bogey here at the second. And that's going to mean this hole is tied. Up next, the 395-yard par 4 third. Tight driving hole with fescue on the left. Fairway tilting right to left, so a drive right center is ideal. And nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. He's got 144 yards remaining to the hole, pin sitting back right. Oh, that was a good strike. I could tell that by the uh, sound as the ball came off the club face. That little bounce and check. Well done. Just under 80 yards to go now as he'll decide how to flight his second. Okay, it's not stone dead, but that's not too bad. So now eyeing this one for birdie. Yeah, no sweat. It is a birdie here at the third. And she's going to take a two-up lead. Here now at the second par three of the day, 193-yard fourth. Magnificent views of the Manhattan skyline framing a figure eight green. Miss that, and it's a tough up and down. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. That one safely on the putting surface. Now a second to this par three. Pretty comfortable spot here for Birdie to win the hole. Oh, good run going here early. This is Birdie's at three and four. Onward now to the 427 yard, part four fifth. Elevated tee offering a view of a water hazard that runs along the entire left side. Tee shot in the short grass is the key to success here. Issues there. Good tee shot in the short grab.
right in the fairway and 180 yards from here. Ken in the back left today as he'll stare down this second to the par four. And that's a good approach shot too. Just a little left of the hole, but a good chance for Birdie. Now this note up for Birdie. And not a particularly demanding putt here. Maybe slightly down an incline, but it is dead straight. Made a good run at birdie. I'm gonna have to focus now, trying to walk away with the par. This is a 16-footer. Oh, yes, indeed. The line there, perfect. It is in for a birdie. Coming now to our first par five of the day, 538 yards sixth. Avoid the fairway bunker down the right side off the tee and getting home in two is a possibility, but be of the water guarding the complete right side of the green. That is an excellent tee shot. Now this par five is soon in reach. Yeah, that's a good tee shot right there. Got a little extra run out. That's where you want to be. So in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. Normally they stick a T in one end and a flag in the other. Used the way. But that second shot on this par five, that completely took the green out of play. Air mailed. That is a big mistake. Okay, not too bad there. Well, obviously he can do better, and he's going to have to on this next putt if he wants to just get out of here with bogey, Frank. And this one's certainly going to be uh, worth the price of admission. It's about a 60% make percentage from here. This for birdie. Okay, nicely played. That's in for Birdie here at six. And she's gonna take a one-up lead. Arriving here at the 484-yard part of it. Tight driving hole with fairway bunkers left and right. A tee shot down the left side will open up the angle for the approach.
just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. He's got his game face on now. That's safely into the right portion of the fairway. Well, going to be a lengthy putt for birdie, but on a long approach like that, anything on the green is a welcome sight. Iona's down there. This for birdie. From what I can see, it's going to move from left to right at the start of this putt. Then it will kind of straighten out as it goes along. Fourteen feet to the hole. <laughs> 